let's take a look at the inverse kinematics tool, the IK tool, and how it's going to help us to speed up our roto of complex jointed shapes. In this case, a horse's leg. There we go. So I've got my leg rotoed on one frame. And if I have a look in my object list, let's bring up the object list big here. So let's take a look at my object list in depth. Now, one of the important things that I've done is I've got my hierarchy sorted out. So I have a horse layer inside my horse layer. I have a body layer and inside my body layer, I have the leg front left layer here. And it's important that I start to build up this hierarchy here. So I have a knee that I'm going to put inside my leg and inside the knee. I'm going to have an ankle and inside that I'm going to have a hoof layer. So basically building up the different joints within layers and then making sure that my shapes are within the correct layers, of course. So once I've got these layers sorted out with the different joints, I need to make sure the anchor point of these layers actually sits over the top of the joint itself. So here for the main leg, it's going to sit somewhere around about here on the knee. Well, it's going to be sitting on the knee on the ankle. Let's move this down so that it's sat around about on the ankle there. And the hoof, well, we'll sit that at the bottom because it isn't really a joint in itself. Cool. So one final thing we need to do before we start using the IK tool is to make sure that we have animation turned on. So I'll come into my leg layer, turn on the rotate keyframing into the knee. Same there. Ankle, same and hoof as well. Now we're good to go. So I'm going to take us back a few frames round about here. And let's just select the hoof, the ankle layer, the knee layer and the leg front left layer. And come over to the IK tool on the toolbar on the left hand side. And you'll see that we now have a series of joints and bones. And I can move at a bone. And that moved just the, the bone itself. There we go. Or if I move us back over here somewhere, but if I select a joint, that's going to move all the bones above it in the chain. So selecting the joint on the hoof means I can change all of the bones and the whole leg in one swoop. Or if I take the ankle joint, I can move all the ones apart from the hoof. Or if I take the knee, I can change the thigh. So it can be nice just to move everything widely in one space and then just fine tune it again afterwards. There we go. And here, come in again, fine tune that stuff up a little bit here. There we go. Now, the IK tool is amazingly fast for getting us in the right sort of area. But of course, what it doesn't do is it doesn't allow for any sort of movement in perspective. So we will have to go in and fine tune some of these shapes afterwards. But what it does help us do is it gets us into the right area. So the amount of fine tuning work is going to be considerably less. And that's how we set up and use the IK tool in Silhouette.